Hey guys, my name is Ted. Finding the right pair of trousers can be a little bit tricky. There's no one size fit all solution. So today we're gonna help you make that choice a whole lot easier. F11 have divided their products into four different categories. Mountaineering, trekking, outdoor, and hunting. Each specific category with different adventures in mind. Let's start with outdoor activities. These trousers are developed for everyday outdoor activities, such as taking a walk in the woods, picking mushrooms, or having a picnic with your family. On me, I'm wearing the Greenland jeans. They have a classic fit and a traditional design. There's a multitude of different styles within this category. For example, Nils and Karl. Next up, we have trekking. Trekking trousers are developed for hard wearing, long distance treks in the mountains or in the woods. A pair of trousers that you can really rely on in demanding situations. These trousers are generally a bit more technical and have slightly more functions than your average outdoor pants. So right now I'm wearing the uh, Vida Pros. They're really durable and extremely hard wearing. The trouser itself is made out of G1000. As you can tell, they have reinforcement on the knees and on the back. I like them because they have a lot of pockets, which is great if you're around the campfire, around the camp, and you're doing some bushcrafting and you want to really get down and dirty. These are perfect. The Vita Pro has a sister trouser called Bollens Pro. The difference between the two is here in the lower part where the Bollens Pro have raw length and the Vita Pro has fixed length where you can adjust with uh, buttons here in the lower part. F11 also offers a lighter alternative, such as the Obisco Light Trekking Trousers, where the focus is on freedom of movement and lightweight trekking. Our third activity is mountaineering. These trousers are made for extremely demanding situations above the tree line. I'm wearing the Beitagen Stretch Trousers. As you hear from the name, they're extremely stretchy. You also have ventilations here in the side, which is perfect when you are climbing above the tree line. Other trousers in this category is the Beitagen trousers and the Beitagen Echo Shell trousers. Another way to find the perfect trouser for you is to look at the functions that you desire. So one of those functions can be stretch. Having a trouser with a lot of stretch enables you to move freely up and down in variety terrain where you don't have to worry about the trousers blocking your movement. Right now I'm wearing the Obisco Midsummer Sip Off trousers. These are the similar trousers that I wore when I was in Thailand. These are perfect for warm weather trekking where you have a lot of freedom of movement and they're also extremely breathable. But they also offer you protection from the sun. So you have pockets here on each leg and then you have also the sip off version right here. There's no need to take your trousers off. You can simply just keep everything on you like that and then voila, you got one leg free. In extremely demanding situations, you wanna have a pair of trousers that are wind and waterproof. On me right now, I'm wearing the Beitagen Echo Shell trousers. These are perfect for activities above the tree line. The really nice thing about these trousers is also that you have a zipper all the way along the sides here so they can quickly be put on or taken off when you need to adapt for the different situations. As you can tell, we're not exactly above the tree line right now, but when the weather is demanding and you need a pair of wind and water resistant trousers, these are awesome. Another wind and waterproof alternative is the high coast hydratic trousers. Next up, we have hard wearing and durable trousers. These are trousers that you want to have with you your whole life and you never want to think about what you're going to do with them. You just want to focus on the task at hand or the adventure that you're doing and you know that these trousers will be with you all the way. Right now I'm wearing the Vita Pro. So they got reinforcement on the knees and on the back here as well. If you want to go another level up from these, you can have a look at the Gator Trousers number one. They have G1000 heavy duty reinforcements. You can also choose trousers based on climate. F11 offers trousers from the tropical climate all the way up to Arctic climate. Starting with really warm climate, we have the Obisco Midsummer Trousers and the High Coast Light Trousers. The difference between the two is that the Obisco Midsummer Trousers is more for trekking and the High Coast Light Trousers are made more for everyday outdoor. Next up, we have the Obisco Light Trousers. They're made from G1000 Light. As you can hear from the name, they're suitable for lightweight trekking. When it comes to the Keb and Kaipak Trousers, they have stretch panels, so they offer you great freedom of movement. A couple of trousers that are a bit warmer than the Kaipak and Keb is the Vita Pro. They're suitable for hiking in the mountains pretty much all year round. For high-paced winter activities, we have the Keb Touring Trousers. The Keb Touring Trousers offers the same freedom of movement as the Keb Trousers, but they will also keep you warm. Then we have one of Fjellhaven's warmest trousers. These are the Dreve trousers. I always choose the trousers based on the activity that I will be doing. 
If I'm going to be moving a lot, going for long distances, I will either go with tights or cab trousers. If I'm going to be more static in a place or I will be doing some bushcrafting, I would probably go with Vita Pro or Vita Pro ventilated. In summer months, I usually go in shorts because again, once you start to move, you will get warm. Another great alternative in the summer months is that you go with zip off trousers. In that way, you have the best of both worlds. I really hope that this video helped you choose the right trousers for you and your activities. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Good luck and see you on the trail.